Hello everyone, so this video I'll go through uh, number 3, Unmask Center Mesh as well as number 5, uh, Reset Mesh Orientation on the Gizmo 3D Operators Okay, so uh, Unmask Center Mesh is like center pivot in Maya or your favorite 3D software so it sets the Gizmo to the center of the mesh Okay, but uh, not just that, it has uh, another function which uh, is doing this by calculating the bounding box Okay, and then not only that if the masking is on, it's centered based on mask areas. So this makes it different from uh, how we use it in other software like Maya and uh, maybe 3DX Max. Okay, so it's a little bit different. So what is bounding box? Bounding box is the bound area of the uh, of the 3D mesh. And then uh, when it's a simple sphere like this, okay, it's pretty regular. You can calculate the bounding box very well. So this box here, we can call this the bounding box of the 3D object. Okay, but if this is an X or maybe this is a long spear or something that is uh, different. The bounding box will change. You know, the bound, the way the 3D software calculates the bounding box will be very different. And then you, you may not be able to perceive all the empty space and be able to realize that the bounding box is actually so big that easily. So sometimes it may be a little bit confusing when the the unmasked center mesh, which is like center pivot, doesn't actually go to the center to where you want it to be. So if you're confused, just know that uh, there's another calculation to this. That is also the bounding box. So that's why uh, it may not go so well. Another way is that uh, we need to take note of is the masking is really important. It is really centered based on the mask area of the object that you have. Okay, so uh, for example, if you mask this half area, on the uh, mesh, and then the the and then you press this button over here, number three. And then the pivot will go to here because uh, this whole area is mass, so the pivot will only jump here. So the mass area will be not, and then you will just go to the areas that is uh, still in use, and then you will calculate the bounding box and the masking that is on, and then the, you will just uh, center based on that area over there. Okay. How about number five? Now five is a reset mesh orientation, and then you reset the Gizmo 3D to the orientation of the scene which is straight and I love doing this together with number three because uh, you will just set everything straight right you will set your center pivot and then you will set the orientation of the scene to be straight and then I love pressing the alternate left mouse click on both of these at the same time okay so so it just sets everything center and then it sets everything straight so uh, when you use it in co cohesion it makes a lot of sense okay if you keep if you didn't press alternate, if the uh, you didn't press alternate, which is means the lock tool is enabled, the uh, sub tool will rotate together with the thing. Not a big deal, but just know what you are doing. All right. So uh, yeah. So let's say for example, this is another example over here. The mesh is a uh, mass, and then leaving only a little center space, and then you press this uh, mass center mesh. What happened? Boom. Gizmo goes right to the center of the mass area. Okay, so uh, let me show you other examples and uh, let's see if you can do that. So uh, previous lesson we go until here and then we have two objects stuck together in one scene. So maybe now I'll just start off with uh, separating this mesh, all right? So it's a bit cleaner. We have two different uh, sphere kind of thing on different objects and then I just want to control this smaller one on top. And then uh, let's make this gizmo a little bit messy first. So I'm holding alternate and then I'm trying to make this gizmo a little bit messy. Okay, so now my gizmo is a little bit messy. How do I make it straight? Okay, just now we learned we make it straight by pressing an alternate left click on the reset orientation over here. Alternate left click, bang, straight. And then uh, how do we make it to the center? Go to unmask mesh center. And I'm still holding alternate, bam. Because uh, actually you, we don't really need to hold alternate here, but I just tell myself to hold alternate anyway because I always told myself this tree I'm gonna always almost always hold down alternate when I use them. So I just got the got it memorized this way. You know, so I prefer to do that. So so alternate left click, alternate left click. And then I'm done. I'm happy with this. And then the, this is the operation that I'll use the most often in ZBrush. Whenever I uh, I set my mesh to somewhere else, I change the pivot location, something is messy, alternate left click, alternate left click. Everything is center. I'm happy, I'll move it back into place and I'm done. OK, 
Okay, just now I also mentioned the uh, how the mass affects it, so we'll just do a small experiment over here, mass this area, and then uh, what will happen if I go to our mass center, bam, okay, it's affecting because the mass is there. If I change the mass again, bam, okay, so it's, it's changing the area and the uh, bounding box area, and then it's going to the mesh area based on it. Okay, so uh, that's it for the... Uh, this lesson which covers uh, a mass mesh center. Oh, sorry. I think I, I want to go through one more thing So uh, what happens if I keep this locked? Okay, so for example, if I were to keep this locked over here uh, Number five reset mesh orientation if I reset it without uh, Pressing alternate what will happen? The gizmo will actually go back to straight the gizmo will go back to straight, but the mesh will be rotated let me try and show you. Ta -da! See, it's funny. The gizmo went back to straight, but the uh, object is now rotated. So sometimes you may want to do this uh, intentionally. Okay, I don't know. Like, uh, just know that this function is there. Okay, so like uh, you can purposely position it in some ways. You know, be creative. And then uh, when you press reset orientation without alternate, Okay, you will just rotate the whole thing and then everything will be straight. I mean, uh, sorry, not everything will be straight. The gizmo will be straight, but your object will now be rotated. Okay, uh, I don't of use this often, I'll be honest. And then, the, but I prefer to just alternate left click, alternate left click. And then I keep myself very clear of what I'm doing. Um, I'm centering my, my orientation, I'm centering my mesh center. And then I'm happy with that. I do everything from the pivot when it's centered and then maybe if I want to rotate it to a certain direction I may change the pivot direction like this and then when I'm done I always kind of reset it back to center alternate left click fifth one alternate left click third one and I'm happy with that all right see you on the next video bye bye